Good morning, guys. I hope you are all well. Um, welcome back to Manalas Ark. So you already know that I'm making these videos to support the learners who are in my classes. Those are those that I'm teaching. So we are currently on the topic of geometry of straight lines for grade nine. So I'll quickly get to that one just to save us time. Let's quickly do that. So in geometry of straight lines, we are talking about angle relationships currently so for angle relationships we said we have this following word fang here we have an n fang c and then here we have a y like that so in this uh word that you see here we are actually trying to find a way in which we can cram let's use the word cram yeah find a way in which we can cram uh this angle relationships so we know that this one represents corresponding corresponding angles and corresponding angles the f formation must have parallel lines and then we are saying on the amplitude of that f formation the angles will be equal right and then we have this one the u shape the u shape also has parallel lines too and we are saying in this u shape the angle that you see in this amplitude when you add it to the other angle you must get the angle size of 180 degrees the sum of those two angles is 180 degrees so this type of an angle relationship we call them co-interior angles and then we have this one the end shape the end shape as you would have guessed it also needs parallel lines so those parallel lines we usually call this an a capital n shape or the z shape so uh we look at the amplitude of the n shape the amplitude of those n shapes they form angles so the angles they are also supposed to be equal we refer to these ones as alternating alternating angles right and then we have this one this one that is like an x formation so this one with an x formation it doesn't need parallel lines but actually the angles that are opposite to each other we are saying that they are equal they are vertically opposite angles and they are equal same thing applies to this ones this angle here it's, op it's opposite to the angle there and those two angles would be equal as long as you see an x formation formed by two straight lines so we call them we said vertically i know some of you don't like the word vertically you like vertically but then it's fine it's the same thing vertically opposite angles so we are saying vertically opposite angles are equal alternating angles are equal co-interior angles add up to 180 and corresponding angles are equal and then we have this one that you see here with a y shape this one we are saying this angle that you see here and the angle that you see there when you measure this angle and then you continue to measure it with this other angle you're going to get a straight line so we call this ones adjacent it's adjacent angles on a straight line so we usually don't call them complementary angles we call them adjacent angles on a straight line complementary angles it's any angle that it's any angle relationship that adds up to 180 degrees for instance co-interior angle it's also a supplementary angle adjacent angles on a straight line it's also a supplementary angles because they all have angle relationships that add up to 180 degrees so in this case we can also say angle x plus angle y it's equals to 180 degrees so let's move on quickly quickly sorry if you'd allow me here i have a diagram here and then i want us to identify all the alternate mm -mm, all the corresponding angles that are there we know that corresponding angles they form an f formation so let me choose this one we can see here already 
that we have an air formation right there we all see that and then we have parallel lines so if your f formation has parallel lines then it qualifies so in that case it means angle b1 must be equal to angle e1 because they form an f formation so let me write that one down but let's remove the highlighting first so we said angle b1 is equals to angle e1 let's write that down oh sorry here there was a g here yeah angle b1 so i'm going to say angle b1 i put a small cap on top of b1 i'm saying it's equals to angle e1 i put a small cap on top of e there and then i provide my reason we said why are these two angles equal because they are corresponding so i'll write my corresponding this way and then i'll write my angles this way corresponding angles after that i mentioned the parallel lines that they are using so we said in this case now that this f formation it uses this line and it also uses that line those are the parallel lines so i'm saying to you now it will be in your best interest when you give me the parallel lines they are using you give me the whole line so the whole line here it's ac don't say bc just say ac and then that's fine same thing applies here this line you're going to say to me that this line is df i hope that is fine um let's remove the markings right there so let's put that in writing we said just now that the parallel lines they are using the parallel line here it's ac which is parallel to the line df you call the whole line it's best you just call the whole line so now please try to pause the video right here and see if you can find for me the next three pairs of parallel lines okay i hope you've paused the video so here the next three pairs of parallel lines let's quickly find them not parallel lines corresponding angles why why am i making such a mistake okay the next pair of corresponding angles not parallel lines i have this f formation here that f formation it uses these parallel lines right remember but you're going to give me the whole line when you tell me the lines that are parallel you're going to say ac is parallel to df now in this f formation the angles on the armpits of this f formation we have an f formation that is facing downwards regardless of where the f formation is facing as long as it's an f it is still corresponding angles it doesn't matter whether a horse it has stripes or not a horse is a horse that's what it means there are no zebras here so in this case let me remove them highlighting now that you've seen the f formation we are saying it will tell us that b2 is equal to e2 so let me write that one down quick quick um let's use this one oh, no this is too light we're going to say angle b2 is equal to angle e2 our reason for that is what these are corresponding angles corresponding angles and which parallel lines did we say they are using they are using um this ac remember you call the whole line right you call the whole line so they are using ac i'll write ac here ac is parallel to what to df now if you didn't pause the video before to find the three pairs of uh corresponding angles you can pause it here now to find the next two pairs of corresponding angles so let's move on here the next f formation that we are going to see here it's this one let me use this one so the next f formation you're going to see it's this f right there this one that is facing downwards it's an f that is facing downwards 
and then angles on the armpits will be equal and these lines must be parallel you don't form parallel lines the parallel lines must be given to you so we have here now this angle is equal to that angle and this parallel line this line is parallel to that line it's given to us we are not forming those things up it's there on the diagram that this line is parallel to that line i hope that is good so we said what b3 is equal to e3 that's what we saw there so let's remove the markings b3 is equal to e3 let's write that down we are saying that angle b3 is equal to angle e3 reason for that whenever you're working with geometry or straight lines every answer deserves a reason you're going to say corresponding corresponding you write your corresponding this way you write your angles this way these are corresponding angles which parallel lines are they using ac is parallel to df now don't be scared with this uh, examples that i'm doing now for corresponding angles the reason they are so easy it's because this is an introduction level they will get more difficult as you saw us doing this in class so next ones the next pair of corresponding angles if you haven't paused the video for this three so far pause it now so that you can find the last pair of corresponding angles so i'll just do it now so we are saying now we have this f formation here that f formation we already know that these lines are parallel because we are shown here we are not forming those things up and then therefore this angle must be equal to that angle what are those angles we call them b4 and this one is called e4 sorry so b4 must be equal to e4 by what we saw there let me quickly write that one down so angle b4 must be equal to angle e4 why are they equal because they are corresponding angles they form an f formation they are corresponding angles which parallel lines are they using they are using the parallel line ac being parallel to df just then so that was that for corresponding angles for today not for for not for today for this video please watch the next one when uh where we are going to work with core interior angles uh thank you for watching uh hope to see you soon